Hello and a warm welcome back to all of you. This is video 8 of the Project Euler series. Uh, so let's go to this puzzle and see what we are facing. So the problem says the four adjacent digits in the 1000 digit number, which is this number, that have the greatest product are 9, 9, 8 and 9. So probably somewhere here there is a 9989. Nine. Yep, so here it is, 9989. Nine. Find the 13 adjacent digits in this 1000 digit number that have the greatest product. What is the value of this product? Okay. So we would say let me have the digit like this first as an string and then I will do something with that so this is my string of numbers then I will split it by new line and uh, then join them so it's a one liner then again I will split it by empty space so it becomes an array of the numbers and map each one to be a number not a string so if I do so I will get I would get something like this which is an array of all the numbers so what can we do from here I need to get the chunk of 13 numbers and check the value of this chunk and then check the value of one after that and so on and so on and do this for like 1000 times but there is a trick here if any of the chunks that I choose so let me zoom a little bit so if in the chunk that I choose there is one zero the multiplication of that chunk is always zero because the rest doesn't matter what are the rest of the numbers they will be finally multiplied by zero and then we'll, be, we'll get to zero so if I get to a chunk which has like uh, like this chunk that has two zeros one here and one here I need to find the last zero number and then forget all these numbers and start from here and go on because this this chunk is not relevant it doesn't uh, provide the maximum number that we want so let's do that so these are obvious this will hold the maximum number and this is the index that we are pointing at so I will start from here and will go on Right. So what I have done here is that I am looping until I get to uh, like uh, 13 characters to the last. So if I get to like for example here, if my index gets here, then there are no 13 characters or 13 digits after that. So I don't need to check and I will jump out of the loop. Then I will slice get the chunk from the index and 13 characters after that or 13 digits after that I will check if there is a zero and if there is a zero I will jump uh, by the amount of that zero index forwards and I will just jump otherwise I will do the calculation which is Thank you. 
Right, so if the if the chunk that we have has no zero inside, then we will just uh, just uh, get the sum of that, and then we will check if that's bigger than max, then we will store it. Otherwise, uh, we will just go on and we'll go to the next index. So, yep, that should give us the number that we are looking for. This number probably. Yes, right. So, yeah, I think the challenge was, you know, to go from the index until 13 characters after that. Uh, but yeah, the code is always on my GitHub. If you want to check, the link is in the description. And uh, so yeah, that was about it. And uh, see you in the next video then.